If you love PTCGO as much as I do, then you'll love buyptcgocodes.com. They have all the latest codes in stock, and if you use my discount code PSG, you'll get 5% off your next order. Highly recommended. Gotta catch them all, Pokemon fans. Welcome to another Playscape Games video, and today we're going to do something slightly different. So, um, I buy and sell a lot of Pokemon cards, as probably some of you might know, and um, I get a lot of stuff in the mail, and I thought, like, I've been seeing a lot of SM Pratt's videos with Mail Mondays, like TCA Gaming. I thought it'd be cool just to show you guys, like, some of the things that I'm buying, you know, some of the stuff that arrives in my mailbox, and, uh, you know, maybe maybe make a weekly video of it, see how see how this one goes. But um, yeah, I'm going to do my best to try and hide any information of the of the people who are sending me the stuff. Um, if they are someone I know, I might might sort of met, sort of mention them in their first name and just like, yeah. And I thought I'd just tell you a bit more about my business and some of the things I'm interested in, really, because um, I I love Pokemon cards and I sometimes I buy cards and I completely forget and for, forget and forgotten what I've ordered and then like just stuff arrives in the post and stuff. So. Yes, and uh, yeah, if you want to send me anything, um, just yeah, check, um, you know, send send me a message. I've got my email in the description, and um, yeah, just to see how it goes. So I'm just gonna open some random packages and see see if I can find out, like, see if I can remember what I bought. Oh, so this was from a lovely man. I think most of these things are normally Facebook purchases, but I sometimes buy things from eBay, from Card Market, Amazon Japan. So what we've got here are some. Lovely EX um, Holon Phantom Forces sort of reverse hollows. I absolutely love the artwork on these. And um, yeah, there's a condition. Some of the conditions on these cards, like it's sometimes a lot easier to get these in good, better condition than the older cards because people at this point, most more people are like serious collectors. So if you see this Mewtwo, um, it's quite probably hard to tell from this photo because the lighting's not the best in this room, but um, you can see this Mewtwo is in lovely condition. Like, I think um, even though it's not a hollow, like people will still be like collecting these kind of you know popular cards from the EX series. It's very, it's getting a lot harder to find these. So I'll probably be ending up um, grading a few of these. Look at the beautiful craw crawfish there, lovely Reggie Rock. Um, yeah, these are in really nice condition. So you, thank you to the man on Facebook. I'm sure you know who you are, and some nice energies as well. It's very hard to find these in mint condition as well. I'm not sure where I want to grade these or play with these. We'll have to, I'll have to see. So. Yeah, so I'll try. I'll do my best. Try to not to like not show any sort of details of anyone's addresses or anything. I mean, if you if you bought stuff from me, you've, you've got to know my address because like my my return labels on the on there. Oh, so this is quite an interesting one. So this might be someone from Europe because when I when I purchase things from a card market, a lot of the time the European sellers and um, they they like to put um, Magic the Gathering cards in the middle to try and to try and sort of you know pad them out as like extra pageant and stuff. So I end end up with a whole bunch of lands and random stuff. So. Let's see what magic card we've got. Oh, it's a mountain. That's very useful. So I've been trying to purchase quite a few of these. So uh, annoyingly, I missed a boat on these when they were like five, six uh, pounds, you know, seven dollars each. They've gone up now because um, it's a shining Pokemon. Not that many people were buying sort of huge quantities of the Shining Legends ETB at the time. So um, these are also not the easiest to get as PSA 9 because sometimes they have like little hidden indents. But I think this one's in really nice condition. So um slight small like imperfections in the bottom left there but i think this one's got a really decent chance at um get hit in the psa psa 10 grades so um very happy with that so yeah, we've been trying to pick up more of those okay so we might have to do some right like, random cuts to try and make sure that no like sort of sensitive information is displayed on screen like people's addresses Stone John of VMAX, yep, so for these are for my decks i've been trying to um purchase a few of these like i think i got this one from ebay for about four pounds so i'm going to try definitely try the silver ally gx donjourna deck so as well as um grading cards and running a business like buying and selling cards i also um purchase cards so yeah what have we got here oh we've got here a nice rainbow rare gengo Mim mimiki so let's have a look at this nice seems like it seems to be in really good condition i'm not going to take stuff out of the top loaders now just for like the sake of speed and stuff but beautiful card rainbow rare is a popular pokemon we got two popular pokemon on the same card you can't get much better than that really but um the last psa 10 i sold of this one was about um i think it was around the 70 pound mark and that was a few months ago so that's probably gonna that's probably gonna go up slightly in the that's going to keep going up rainbow rares are very hard to pull um sometimes you can have some print issues most rainbow rares normally come up the packs in good condition but it all depends like yeah Ooh, this isn't good so i'm not sure where i bought this one from but look at this top loader thankfully well this is only just a charizard but yeah this is not good i have no idea how this happens so this is why i prefer hardback envelopes when i send my cards when i send my cards i always try and ensure the maximum level protection 
like a hardback sort of envelope, you know, plus the top loader. Whereas this person, they just sent the two top loaders in the in the envelope, in like a paper envelope, and potentially the Charizard might have a crease in it. The, this is the theme deck exclusive one. Oh my god, it's actually inside one of the top loaders with more tape. Try and avoid putting tape on the top loaders because people try to have to cut into the cut into the top loaders to try and you know release the card, so to speak, and it's an absolute nightmare to deal with. So make sure you package your cards properly, everyone. So. Uh, uh, and yeah, I think this might be damaged. Let's take it out of the sleeve. Let's, let's see if we can figure this. Have a look at this. Yeah, unfortunately, you can see right at the top there. I'm not sure if the light's hitting it properly, but um, big old crease. So um, yeah, boo you, whoever you sent, whoever sent this. Try and sort out your packaging next time. Thankfully, it was only like five euros, so I'm not going to make take too much of a loss on that because I'm sure I can sell it at a comic con at some point. You know, um, so so you know. Charizard collectors just want it for their binder, maybe. Nice, beautiful Phil Art Marnie. I'm going to try and slowly acquire um, four Phil Art Marnies, I think, for my decks, because they're going to be, they're going to, it's going to be like one of the main draw supporters for the next few months, so I'll keep that with the, the next few months, the next two years until the card rotates, so um, definitely going to keep that with my Stonjourner VMAX. Oh, I think we've got here um, quite a big order. I'm not sure what this one is, from someone from Guernsey. So let's see what we got here. Ooh, it's a big old package of wrapped package so this this person's at least give, put, given a bit more attention to their packaging and like trying to keep cards safe but the worry is i try and cut into it i'm not sure what the safe place is to cut in and i end up cutting into cards sometimes that can be the issue so we have to have to might have to get this we have to, might get to get the scissors on this one like very carefully try and try and cut into this and uh, see what we can find inside but yeah, if you guys like um, want to send some cards in, um, like if you want to sell, them, sell me some cards, you want I'll show I'll show them off on mail. On, on, I think we will call it like Pokey Post Friday or something. I'll, I'll come up with an interesting name on it. <laughs> Ooh, okay, look at this. These are some really nice things we got here. I believe this is Ex Legend Maker. Nice the leap. Yeah, this I think this was the same guy actually that I purchased the um, first lot of Ex Reverse Holo cards you saw from. So like. It's harder to get these in really nice condition, but like popular Pokemon like Growlithe, Arcanine, Gengar, should definitely try and pick it up. I mean, just, let's just take a moment to admire this artwork. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Is that a Saito? It's a Kakuna Ear. I'm not sure who that is, but absolutely beautiful artworks. Really nice cards. I love the reverse holo stamps on these. Um, beautiful, beautiful Voltorb there. Try and point out any other really nice ones. Yeah. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this Graveler. Absolutely stunning. We've got that pokey berries. Are the pokey berries falling out the tree there? No idea what he's up to there. Silly graveler. Um Wormple. Ooh, and here is yeah, I, I remember buying this buying this lot. So here's the, the Mew EX. Unfortunately, I think this one's in played condition. Um thank you to the lovely man on Facebook. I think this was a auction or something. Um unfortunately this Mew is in it's got like a micro indent. Yeah, it's got a micro indent right at the top, like a little little crease, bit of edge wear all over, but um, near mint, this card is over £100 easily. Um, I'm sure, like, I might still get this PSA graded just because of how popular the card is, how harder it is to find now, but it's, it's not going to be worth as much as 100 but um, as, a, as a graded card, it might, you know, I might still be able to get 50 60 quid for it. Um, some more beautiful artwork there. Just commons, trainers, same, these are like the same versions of the reverse hollows of the other Pokemon. Just a few, like, random cards there to, to end up with. And uh, the Skitty. Um, fun fact, this is the same Skitty that, that in the Craze Club. So if you ever see a skit, this Skitty that has a little Craze Club stamp here in the bottom right-hand corner, that was one of the few UK-exclusive promo cards we got. That was from our Craze Club magazine. So if you see the Skitty with the Craze Club logo, make sure you um, keep an eye out for that. And um, put that to one side, because it might be worth um, quite a bit, especially in a, a PSA, 9, PSA 8 grade or higher. It's been a while since I sold my last Craze Club ski. I have no idea how much it's worth now. Um, so this lovely person has sent me a PSA card, but they've done... Um, they've put tape on the top there, which is a bit annoying, because I might end up scratching the case trying to remove it, but at least at least it's keeping it safe. Um, I know what this is. Um, oh god, the tape's all over the, the case. Thankfully, actually, it's in, it's in a protective sleeve anyway, so it's not too bad. But um, you really don't want to be putting tape on your PSA cards if you can avoid it. There we go. And there's a bit of tape on the top here. Um, this is a staff graded Nida Queen. So this lovely person actually traded me a an ungraded version. So just the same staff Nida Queen, but um, without the PSA cases. So I was yeah, sure. Like if I sent off to get graded, it'll cost me like ten pounds. So I might as well just do the trade for the staff one, and you know maybe like thirty, forty quid down the line, if someone likes Nida Queen, you know, at Comic Con or something. Nice little, nice little um, card to sit on for future. 
because um, star variants of, of promo card, the pre-release promos can be quite hard to find sometimes. Ah, you can tell this is a card market one because you can see like the card market, the euros and stuff on it. So, no idea what this is. That's just it's probably just some trainer cards or something. I'm just adding to my inventory. Sell them card market, eBay. I've got the website placegetgames.com. Um, ah ha ha, phalanx. So yeah, I just picked up these just in case. Um, they were like five cents each because these are like commons, and I think the reverse hollows were like ten cents each. So. It's just, it's just literally like tons and tons of phalanx. So, um, with a turn to Speedmax being like one of the best new decks, I think like just buy the phalanx now, you know, make some sells and play sets to them at some point, maybe. Just be nice, just nice to have them in stock. Um, so what we've got here is a lovely Azumarill. Yeah, if you guys want to send any packages in, sell me anything, you're welcome to leave a note in the comment. I'll read a note in the package or something. I'll read out the notes and, um, yeah, so we got some nice Reverse Holo Team Rockets EX Returns cards. So I think, like, the these are in really nice condition. Um, you can just see, yeah, the beautiful artwork. Fun fact, EX Team Rocket Returns, I think, was the first set that uses the Reverse Holo stamp. Or one of the earliest ones that had the, um, the used the Reverse Holo of the stamp of the set on the, on the card from the EX series. And yeah, these are... These are in really nice condition, so obviously they're not as rare as like the EXs from the same set, like the Rockets Snorlax, you know, Rockets Mewtwo and stuff, but, you know, it's still very popular, the Reverse Hollows, and they're quite hard sometimes to get PSA 10s off, so definitely worth um, grabbing those at the prices I got them for. And because um, I accidentally showed, any, showed an address label on camera, I don't want to do that, so I want to try and be nice and safe to everyone. Um, Italiano, thank it just literally just says from from Italian. Italiano, thank, I think. So it's like thank you in Italian, sure. You're very welcome. Thank you for sending me a card. Although it's got tape on the cardboard. It's quite you can see here like tape and the cards right next to the edge. It's I'm very I very carefully need to release this from its cardboard prism without causing too much damage or catastrophe to the to the cards. Um Yeah. What I should have done is I should have taken a photo of all my mail like together and um that would have been a nice thumbnail. Unfortunately, that is already half open now. So, um, yeah. Ooh. So this is a nice Lugia from... I'm very bad with the Diamond and Pearl sets. But unfortunately, the condition is not the best. But I thought, I just... Yeah, it's a nice little Lugia. Um, Lugia collector. Lugia is always like a top 10 collectible Pokemon. So I'm sure someone will love to snap that up at some point. Um, oh, these are my favourites. Like the little the little bubble mailers from the UK. Just open them up. Pull, pull the cards out. And here they are. Aha! So I think this is again from one of the other guys that I got one of the earlier lots from. I think he just sent me several lots of things because he kept telling me that he had cards that I, that I might be interested in. So we got here some nice um, Expedition Reverse Hollows. Got a beautiful magic card. Let's just take a moment to admire that Kamoya artwork, Kamiya. Everyone loves a bit of Kamiya. Um, decent condition, that's slightly lightly played though. Nice Hound, try and get focus on these cards. Nice Hound Door. Ghastly, that's from Sky Ridge. It's very hard to find Sky Ridge cards nowadays. That's in nice condition. I might get that graded. And uh, yeah, some beautiful Sandstorm cards there. The um, the secret rare ground on from Legend Maker, Hidden Legends. One of the one of the two. Um, I'm still still learning the set symbols from the earlier sets. I I was not around at the time. Fortunately, it's got a bit of white in at the bottom there. You can probably see that just on the camera there. Um, but that's that's a beautiful card. Um, PSA 8 maybe. I'm definitely going to get that one graded regardless. Um, random reverse holo timber. <laughs> nice, beautiful Venusaur holo. Um, dragon? I don't know. I'll, I'll get. I'll try to learn more about the set symbols. Yeah, this is really nice condition. Good. That's got a decent chance. PSA 9, 10. I haven't looked at the holos, obviously. I'm just keeping these in the top letters for the sake of speed. Beautiful Gardevoir. Yeah, EX Ruby and Sapphire. You can see the Ruby at the bottom there. Um... One of the earlier dragon sets. That's a lovely Gyarados. I don't think I've seen this artwork very often. It's beautiful little Gyarados there. That's in that's in decent nick as well. Decent condition. Nice, beautiful reverse holo ludico. Absolutely. If you look at the background, look at the background of that holo pattern, like the dancing sort of like disco tile pattern in the background. Absolutely beautiful. This is from EX Deoxys, obviously. You can see the logo right there. And a nice reverse holo matchup from Legendary Collection. Um, some light edge wear. Probably like a PSA. I don't know if I'll get this one graded, but um, people like Legendary Collection cards. They back fun fact back in the day when Legendary Collection first came out, people hated these this this style of holo effects because before these came out, there were these stickers, these fake stickers that you've probably seen some places now that have a similar look to this, and people just thought that these cards were fake because they had such a similar pattern to those stickers. So 
at the time they weren't very popular but like in the past two like year or so like legendary collectors absolutely exploded people actually love the follow the hollow foil now so, wow this video is going a lot longer than i thought it was we've got loads of packages to go through um hope you guys are enjoying join it so far should get to see some of my mail wow look at this look giant envelope tiny charmander but better than that guy who just put in the top loader in the in the um um the top loader in like the paper envelope so nice charm and the centering is not great on the back but normally the back centering is not as important as the front centering so I might, i'll probably get this graded um charmander charizard collectors love the shiny cards oh sorry guys knock the camera there okay there so we're nearly done so i think we've got two more packages to open um some really nice mail this week very happy with some of the stuff i'm picking up nothing overly like over the top amazing but um I'm sort of at the moment where I need, I need to save a little bit of money because I've got lots of, a few bills to pay, pre-orders for the upcoming, I've got to pay for pre-orders for the upcoming set, Darkness of Blaze, if you want any booster boxes of Darkness of Blaze or anything, just um, send me a message, go to the website, playscategames.com, sort you out if you live in the UK or Europe, I can sort you out if you live in the United States as well, but you'd definitely be overpaying if you try to buy Pokemon boxes from me if you lived in the United States or Australia, <laughs> so what's in here? Oh, so I thought I'd pick up a couple of these um, pre-release Snorlaxes from Call of Legends. Because Call of Legends is starting to be a bit hard to find. Um, and they are in very nice condition. Snorlax collectors are, I would say Snorlax probably ranks amongst the top 10 most collected Pokemon nowadays. And I like this, it's got like the Lost Zone kind of swirly vor vortex thing in the top there. And um, yeah, these are in really nice condition, these Snorlaxes. So I'm I, might get, I might get these graded. And I love the attack as well, like Layabout, Clomp, Clomp. Chobber, clobber like this is crazy names of the snorlax is absolutely beautiful last package um hmm this even looks like a birthday card this isn't like well it's not my birthday until august but it's kind of like sometimes you receive a, a piece of mail or a letter or something and um ah what they've done is i think they've put it in a birthday card potentially um thanks <laughs> thank you for sending me a pokemon card oh my god i literally only ordered this like yesterday um, and it came in the post today. So this is just the Geraldon. I need to complete my ADP's Ashen deck. So I'm very happy with that. So I'm going to do a deck profile deck profile for that soon. And it says, thank you for your purchase. Ashley from um, Knight's Gem. So check them out on eBay if you get a chance. So yeah, thank you very much, guys, for like the mail. I mean, look at this. Absolutely, you just put the stacks of the cards here that I picked up. The absolute, you know, just tons and tons of mail. Like, just things. But um, I would have to say the highlight is probably like the Shining Hoa. Absolutely beautiful card. Very happy with that. But yeah, so many like epic things in this in this mail. This um, this the mail this week. So it's been a, it's been a good week. So I would like to know what you guys think of our mail opening. Um, we're probably going to do it every Friday. There might be hopefully some more interesting things next week. Um, if you want to, you know, send me anything, if you want to sell something to me, I'll open it up on camera, I'd absolutely love to do that. Um, I can also send cards to get off PSA graded through Ludkin's Collectibles on your behalf if you want, you can send them for me, we'll look at the card on the camera, that'd be nice. Um, yeah, so make sure you also hit the subscribe button, leave a comment below, and I will see you soon, Pokemon fans, gotta catch more. Thank you very much for watching the video. Remember, once we get to 1,000 subscribers, we'll be giving away this beautiful Blastoise and Piplups GX Rainbow Rare card from Cosmic Eclipse. PSA 9 graded, very hard to find. We're getting very close now, so make sure you hit that subscribe button, support the channel, and one of you lovely people could be winning this amazing card. Thank you very much, and I'll see you soon, Pokemon fans. Gotta catch them all.